KS1075 backstage at the All Stars, and I got to tell you, it feels good to have a a little 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 flavor from home. Oh yeah, from, from Southern California, ah. uh, where I'm from too. And he's here in the Mile High City too. Show out tonight on stage, ladies and gentlemen. DJ Quick is oh, here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh man, how are you? Man, I'm great, man. Good, good. And you, you, you got to do what you just did because only people that were streaming can see that. Cause you oh, had, really? You brought your alter ego in. Oh, man, you don't, don't want to use everybody who I am, man. Yeah, sure. See, what I did was I used DJ Quick to bring in the real me, man. That's Jimmy Griffin, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimmy Griffin. Jimmy Griffin, R&B legend, Jimmy Griffin. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I made a song for my man, Kendall. Yeah, yeah. I said, Kendall, Kendall, on KS1075. Yeah. You took it to church on that one. You did a little church action. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's good to have you in the Mile High City. Jimmy loved you. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, Man, last time I was here, I was on trial. Man, has it been that long? <laughs> it been that long, has it been? No, no, I came back in 2003 and half of it. Okay, all right. You know. Yeah, I mean... Everybody knows, I mean, of course you did, you know, Just Like Compton and Shout yeah, Out Denver. Yeah, man, I wish I could take that record back, man. I, I was mad because I, I didn't know how to really express myself. I was a kid, yeah. and I got accused of something I didn't do, and it cost me a ton of money. Right. A ton of money to defend myself for a misdemeanor in the city. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and I ain't snitching. I learned that you can't snitch either, but the person, the person that did it ain't never came back to Denver. See what really? I'm saying? Okay. This is my second time, my third time here. Yeah. You know, but the person that did, that's why I don't carry no guilt. Yeah, the person that hurt them people, and he actually hurt them people. I, I, I paid some medical bills because mm -hmm. somebody got hurt with a glass bottle. Yeah, you know what I mean. So somebody in my uh, entourage threw it, and and you know I paid for it. Okay, all right. You know, I apologized. Yeah, you know we got it. We got that on passes, man. We back it's, to music. It's it's you know? it's way past. Yeah, and, 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 and it's, it's back to music. It's people wasn't even born when that happened. For real. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably at this concert. You got know. you got people eighteen, nineteen that are out exactly. there it's like I don't yeah, know about, but you happened? can hear. What do you hear? <laughs> exactly. So, all right. So I got to ask you for the music and everything because you had a lot of people freaked out last year when you put up the thing on Twitter. Say, I'm retiring. That's it. I'm selling my, my stuff. And but if I found out, I did. I sold a lot of it. And I, I found out. I was watching the interview you did with DJ Speed, and that you gave some of it to your nephew too. I gave it. I gave most of it to him. Okay. You know, but that's like that's like uh, tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff, and sometimes. You know, you can give that to somebody ain't ready and they won't really make nothing of it. But I gave it to him anyway. Okay. It's, off, it's off my spirit. Okay. But, you know, retire means to take a break and go somewhere. Okay. To figure out what you want to do. That's what retire means. Because a lot of people, when they hear retirement, they think, hey, oh, oh, they go. Going? They go. Oh. Yeah, but well, that's not true. Well, I mean, no. It means take a break until you get, you know, until you get your head together and you feel like you want to do something right. And you, know? you feel you're in that zone right now. I already did it, man. It's done. Got the album all ready to go? October 14th. It's in the system already. October Andrews 14th. Universal. All right. All right. That sounds good. It's who called The Midnight Life. Who you got on the album? Who's, uh, who there you go. Got? The Important People. I the important well, I know you got a lot of people, but, <laughs> but who who you want to shout out for? <laughs> um, the Important People are the new artists. I got um, Dom Kennedy really came through. Okay. Sugar Free, my cohort. He's on two songs. For sure. And I reunited the bars for some cool, funky R&B love. Up. Man, come Shut on. Up. Really? They barred. The group, they barred. So like, I got them on my album. Like L and Bunny and all Ellen James, I didn't get Bunny. <laughs> Bunny ain't coming back out here. All right, she's done with LA. <laughs> she ain't having it. All right, as long as you got Ellen James, I got Ellen James. Okay, man. I mean, what else can you? You know, that's that's it. And you worked with them before? Yeah, I've been working with them for like uh, since 1998, actually. Wow, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Well, we're looking forward to the new music. Yeah, um, for sure. You're gonna uh, hit people with the new and the classics tonight. Yeah, we got to. I mean, you know, it makes no sense to. To you know, to come back here, I'm coming back new. I'm reinventing myself. So we're gonna reinvent ourselves on the station tonight. Being, uh, being, being in the business uh, for as a veteran as you have, mm -hmm. and hearing all the different styles and things that have gone through, and I mean, because your ear is, you got a fantastic. Thank ear. you, boss. Absolutely. That's, that's my. That's what made me a legend. Yeah. I you, keep my ears clean. That's what it is. Um, is do you find a difference between from when you started and you know, I said, you know, you have a West Coast sound, an East Coast sound, a Dirty South sound. Yeah. Are things kind of more congealed now, or is it still uh, the, the different regions still have the different sounds? Well, you got a vocabulary. You said congeal. Congeal. I don't know if I can spell it, <laughs> but I can yeah, spell it. spell it. Spell it. <laughs> C O N G E L. <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah, it has, man. It's a different thing. I mean, 
you know, the the equipment has made it to where, you know, the technology is to where like pretty much anybody can make records. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a lot of kids expressing themselves without really knowing music. So they're just doing the best they can and they're connecting with people that don't care. Like, you know, youth, man. It's a it's a youth hip hop has always been a youth based sound. Right. And you can't take it too far away from that. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want to hear jazz. They don't want to hear classical music. They want to hear it's that Right. A little snapping, little something. Yeah. That's all they want. Uh -huh. Simple. Simple beats and simple stuff to get yeah. you going. And it's fine, man. But you know, I'm still one of them guys that I can do the simple stuff, but at the same time, I still got to have a little bit of creativity because I feel guilty if I do the same thing over and over. I feel yeah. like I'm cheating. Yeah. Well, that's you know? you know, and that's part of your creativity. That's why you've been in this game for so long. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still in it, man. I'm about to drop a record October 14th called The Memphis of Funky Fun Experience, dude. I got a lot of I got a lot of people that are that are a part of it that are really happy, man. I re the one of the important people I got on the album is uh he's a part of my sound. Mm -hmm. is uh Robert Bacon, the guitar player, right? Producer. Right. He he uh produced co-produced my Way Too Funky album. Mm -hmm. So he's on the album. He's on two songs and it's it's we just having fun, man. We having fun again. You mentioned uh, about the you know the kids and uh, people that are just getting started in this and being mm -hmm. able to do it on their own. Yeah. What advice can you give? Because you've been the engineer, you've oh, done man. the instrumental, just... you've done you've done the vocals, you've done everything. What can, advice can you give them just starting out? Because they can get a computer and an app and start doing their own beats and stuff already, and just put out a song and just call it a day. Okay. Well, as far as the the apps and the music and the, and all of that goes. If you're all going to do it, have fun with it. That's really about. And it's, 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 it's something you got to love to do. Like you could do it. You have to want to do it for no pay. Okay. You all know, right. when all you right. do what you love, the money comes after that. Right. right. Number two, learn about publishing so that after you're done having fun and it ain't no more fun and people kick you out, yep. at least you'll have some money left That's over. That's right. <laughs> Remember, Jimmy loves you. <laughs> I wouldn't have shared that with you if I, if I hadn't. <laughs> I gotta ask you because I was also I was reading some some other stuff and you um are you working on an unsung already or are you wanting yeah, to get um, one? Yeah, I, I, I talked to Pete Frank already about it and okay. I'm I'm gonna do it. I, I just got cold feet when he brought it to me because it was so abrupt. It was like, wow, I gotta relive all that stuff again, man. I gotta yeah. bring that again, man. That's ugh. unsung for those of us on uh, TV One, great series that shows you know about artists who about have artists done who, their thing. who who did who who actually changed the game yes. of music and made a real impact but didn't get heralded as the stars and didn't get all the multi-million dollars and the big Rolls Royces and all the jewelry like Jimmy has. But I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, that's what Unsung is about. Now, I'm going to end up doing my episode. Yeah. Good. That, that's a great show. And it's awesome. For people that you know want to know more about the history of music and some of the people, where did they come from, where did they go, yeah. it's a great show to watch. And you are definitely... I believe in that category because you've done so much underneath come on, man. that people don't I, understand. Who else knows? Like, not many people know that I produced Rick James. Right. Whitney Houston, mm -hmm. Janet Jackson, Jack. Jay Z, mm -hmm. um, Tony, Tony, Tony. Yep. Uh, Adina, Come on, let's get Adina down. Howard. Let's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a platinum record. Too. Man, that's a great jam. Uh, let's see. Who else? Come on, man. Throw me, throw me some names. Throw, throw me some names. You did that. You did the the, the Fifty Cent beat in the back. Yeah, I, I helped with uh, in the club. In the club. 50 Cent club. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I helped Eminem with Encore, did a couple of the things on there. See, see y'all. So some of y'all probably, probably did not know that. Some of y'all probably did not know. I worked with Talib Kweli. I actually helped break Talib Kweli on uh, West Coast Radio. Yeah. You know, I had a radio show out there on Power One Six, and I broke him. No doubt. You know no who? Doubt. Eric Sermon. Eric Sermon. E40, yeah. Forty. Yeah. Um, Exhibit. We went platinum with Exhibit. Sugar Free. Yeah. Uh, you know, AMG. Uh, and you can go all the way back there. Yeah, second to none, man. All that's all that good stuff. Uh, Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I worked on a couple of his albums, and uh, pretty much, I think they all let me into the studio because they know that I know what I'm doing. Right. It's your experience gets you everywhere. Mm -hmm. So get experience, kid. Really, get get your experience, get your computer skills all the way up, and show off and have fun, and go in there and get that money, and go buy some ridiculous stuff when you get rich. <laughs> You owe it to yourself. What's the most ridiculous thing you bought? Um, the most ridiculous thing I bought? Hmm. That's a good question, boss. Mm -hmm. uh, what did I buy? I bought... That just doesn't make any sense. You looked at it like a month later. You're like, why the heck what did I buy this? What did I buy this? Oh, oh, when you have the, the spending you uh, spend disease. Spend, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, a, like, a, you know, like withdrawals from spending. Yeah. It was, a, uh, it was one motorcycle that I didn't really want. Okay. That I bought just because. No, I bought an Infiniti FX45. Oh, okay. And took it to 310 Motorsports and had and did $18,000 worth of work to it and Checked had it, it pimped out. Yeah. And then looked at it in the driveway one day. I was like, yeah, that's that's pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you it know? is. But you got to buy that one ridiculous thing hey, once you get man. the cash, though. I bought, man, I bought stupid lawnmowers that I never used <laughs> just because it was new. Electric lawnmower exactly. with a remote control. You know, oh, I bought those stupid helicopters that you crash one time and it's over. You see in the mall? Yeah. That kind of stuff? Yeah, they trick you in the mall because yeah. there's no wind in there. Right. As soon as you yeah. take it outside, uh -huh. You can't play around with the Santa Ana winds coming in. <laughs> and it's over. It and is done. Know, $300 down the drain. They got you. They got oh, you. they always get me, man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I bought some really ridiculous things, man. That's cool. Well, at least buy one thing. You heard DJ Quick say buy at least one of those ridiculous things when you get that cash. Man, it's good to have you back in the Mile High City. Thanks, Kendall. Much love to you. And uh, we love the music. We love the movement. We love that you got new music coming out. That you oh, did, man, just hey, got. hey, I helped uh, YG with his record. Uh, YG has uh, got his thing all you going. Lady, all you ladies pop your like this. I'm, I helped yeah. I helped Mustard mix that. Okay. And I also helped him stem out and mix uh, my hitter. Okay. So, you know, I did that for Jeezy, though. I love Jeezy. Jeezy, free Jeezy. Free, free Jeezy. Point, man. Free Jeezy. He's got, he's got some issues going on. H-E-L. Right? <laughs> H-E-L, baby. <laughs> oh, fo. Free Jeezy. Oh, man. Uh, backstage live at the KS1075 All-Stars. Uh, and great to have a good conversation with DJ Quick before right he gets on, the stage. Man, good to see you. You too, boss. DJ Quick in the house. Right on. Right on. KS1075 live backstage.